Hannah, if Hannah doesn't join, I guess just go for it. I'm not sure she got caught up with something else, but. Okay. Okay. Welcome everybody um, to our sophomore junior open house virtual student panel. We will get started in just a few minutes. We're going to wait as people come in and we'll get the ball rolling. We're going to give it a couple more minutes. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Hannah Erdman. I am one of the admission counselors for the Office of Admission at Ripon College. Thank you for taking some time out to be with us this afternoon um, to hear from our students and have them share their experiences with us. Um, so to kick things off, I'm gonna have everyone go around and introduce themselves and share a little quick thing about them. So James, would you like to get us started? Uh, sure. So my name is James DeRose. I'm from Pasadena, California. Uh, I am a rising senior here at Ripping College and I am a double major in communication and sports management. Anisha. Yeah, so uh, my name is Anisha. Um, I am gonna be a current junior in the fall. I am a biology major with a pre-medical focus. I am the president of Black Student Union on campus. I'm a part of Alpha Delta Pi Sorority and I have three jobs on campus. Olivia. Uh, hi, I'm Olivia. I'm from Appleton, Wisconsin. I will be a junior in the fall and I am a member of the women's soccer team. I am in Alpha Chi Omega and I am a psychobiology major with a chemistry minor. Molly. Hi, my name is Molly Wagner. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm going to be a senior on campus next year. Um, I am majoring in elementary education and minoring in studio art. And then I also attend the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh to get certified in special education. Um, at Ribbon, I am the vice president of the Student Education Association. And Anna. Hi, I'm Anna Coles. I'm gonna be a senior in the fall. I play volleyball. I am a member of Alpha Delta Pi. I am a communication major, theater and psychology minor. Um, and I think that covers it. Wonderful. As you can see, we have very involved students. 
um, as part of our office. So please take the time to ask any questions that you would like in the Q&A chat. They can be anonymous or you can share your name with us as we go along. So don't be shy in sharing that information. Um, but to get us started, um, Molly, why don't you share why you chose Ripin? Um, okay, so I think one of the main reasons I chose Ripon was when I was touring colleges, I, um, obviously you get an admission counselor when you come to Ripon, and her name was Eliza, and she knew me anytime I, I walked onto campus. Um, I maybe met her for five minutes one time, and then the next time I came, she knew me, um, by my face and everything, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I think just, like, um, people getting to know you, um, and just like the community on campus, I think that is really what drew me in. Wonderful. Does anyone else like to share why they chose Ripon? Well, I chose Ripon for um, their volleyball program and uh, their medical program. Yeah, I forgot to mention I'm a volleyball player, <laughs> like Anna. Um, but yeah, so I chose it for those two reasons because um, Griffin College was like a 75% like acceptance rate when you graduate and you know you're applying to medical school we have 75% acceptance rate of getting into medical school which is like pretty high because that's like two times higher than the national average which is about like 40% so I was like wow Griffin College must be doing something really good if a lot of their students are going to medical school and so that's kind of like why I want to do that and um, the volleyball program is just another plus because it's one of my passions. All right. What is one thing you guys have been missing from campus as we've all been away? Um, one of my things that I miss is having a, like a five minute walk to Starbucks. I have over a 10 minute drive to Dunkin' Donuts um, because Starbucks is crazy busy in Appleton, but getting my morning coffee every day before class is definitely something I miss. James, do you miss anything about campus? Uh, yeah, so I miss mostly uh, the people. Um, I'm, I forgot to mention I'm part of the uh, Sigma Chi fraternity and I'm also part of the men's soccer team here at Ripon College. So just being around those guys, uh, I definitely miss that. Uh, kind of just like going to practice every morning. Um, obviously our spring season kind of got canceled. So uh, just being able to like just get up, like play soccer is definitely something I miss. And also, yeah, just like hanging out on the weekends with uh, some of my fraternity brothers is another thing. It's okay. All right, Anna, so we have some many representations of student athletes, but can you share a little bit about what it's like to be a student athlete at Ripon? Yeah, so um, not only is the support there from professors and your coaches, um, sorry if you guys hear the background, um, someone's mowing their lawn, <laughs> you can hear it. Um, well, anyway. Um, so I know like professors are super supportive. They come to games, they support you in that way. Um, coaches are always making sure that your um, academics are number one. Um, and just in general, like um, being able to say that you're a student athlete, like it really shows like um, time management and how to like control your time um, and just how that represents you and uh, your team as a whole on campus. Wonderful. All right. So we do have a question in the chat. Um, Olivia, can you start us off and talk about what the faculty are like at Ripon? Yeah, so my experience with faculty is they kind of treat us like we're another part of like their family. I've been like invited to their houses every once in a while for dinner or to like dog sit, babysit. Um, they have always come up to me if whether I'm in the commons, the spot, just walking on campus. And they'll ask me like how my family's doing. They won't just ask me about like how the class is going. They'll ask me like a personal questions and kind of make sure I'm doing okay. And I think having that one-on-one -on -one contact with them and having them know you by name is definitely something I really enjoyed um, when I toured Ripon, just because I really like having that connection with the faculty. And it's not just professors, it's um, anyone who works in the spot, the commons, the library, 
it's all of the people that work at Ripon all try to treat you like family. Mm. What has anyone done any student research? I um, assisted Dr. Robin in her research um, this past semester. She was looking at the pro um, different like proteins in, um, in rat brains. Um, so I helped her dissect those and put them on slides to look at for her. That is fantastic. All right. Hi, Nisha. Do you have any advice about the college search for our listeners? Yeah. Um, so when you're looking at these different colleges, make sure first you have like a list of the things that you have to have. Like for instance, my list was in this order. Um, a good medical program, um, a good volleyball program, and the food. Because if I'm going to be somewhere for four years, then the food has to be uh, good. Because I'm not supposed to be here for four years and the food's not good. So I think it's important to make a list of all like the things you have to have. And then when you're doing these virtual tours and stuff like that, and even doing these, um, make sure you ask those questions, even if they are the hard questions, because it's going to help narrow down your college search. One thing that I love about Ripon is that um, it was on my list was that I needed a lot of like, you know, scholarship money and financial aid money. And they were able to surpass anything I was thinking of. And I was like, wow, they must really want me because they gave me a lot of scholarship money, a lot of merit scholarships. And I was just like, wow. So make sure you just honestly research your colleges, have a list, and then, you know, just ask those questions. All right, there are seniors on the call, on the on the line, what are some of the things you wish you would have told yourself while you were doing your college search? That's a good question. <laughs> I wasn't really thought about. What would have made it less stressful? Is that a better way to think about yeah, it? I think that may maybe starting touring earlier. So I think um, starting your sophomore, junior year, I started at the beginning of my senior year. Um, and I'm not going to say I'm, I'm okay. I'm very happy at where I am. I'm really happy that I went to Ripon, but I think like I only toured like four schools. I wish I kind of toured something maybe out of state and I knew I wanted to be in state, but maybe um, touring something out of state too um, was something that I wish I kind of would have done. Um, but I'm, I'm going to say I'm really happy that I made the choice to come to Ripon. So I'm really not going to change anything about my college search because it brought me to Ripon. Wonderful. All right. So what are, what do you guys see, and we'll start with James on this, as advantages to attending a small school versus like a large school? Yeah. Uh, so personally, I wanted to go to um, a smaller college because my high school is around 450 students. So it was like rather small and classroom sizes were around like 20 to 30 people. Um, and here at Ripon, I believe the average is around 17. So I just kind of wanted to be in a classroom size that where like I can easily like access the professor if I had any questions like maybe before or after class um, and they'll just be available to answer any questions. Uh, here at Ripon, their office hours are uh, great because they're, uh, they, they just have more time to meet with uh, more students because like at a larger university, other students might uh, take up some of their time and you might not necessarily have like all or full access to these professors. So yeah, just like the smaller classroom sizes is definitely the big advantage to going to like a smaller college, like Ripon College. Wow, awesome. Okay. All right, so you guys are all involved in a variety of different activities, but can you share some of the different types of clubs, organizations, different things to be involved in on campus. Um, Anna, do you wanna start with that and then anyone else can feel free to jump in? Um, so I, like I said, I'm in, um, in volleyball. I'm in Alpha Delta Pi with Nisha. Um, it's just the question like to talk about. Like, like what are some of like, what are some of like the different things? Like are there, like professional organizations, like what is like student life like? Okay, so I know um, 
in our uh, diversity for in inclusion um, office, we do have a lot of different groups within those um, that literally anyone can join. Um, you can even, uh, I believe, make your own um, organize or like little club. Um, so it's really inclusive that way. Um, there's Greek life on campus, uh, both fr fraternities and sororities. Um, there's sports. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm missing anything else. No, <laughs> no, you're not. So, so long story short is there's just about anything one yeah. can think of to do yeah. on campus. <laughs> yeah. Um, so speaking of like campus activities and organizations and things like that, what is your, and we'll have everyone answer this question. What is your favorite campus activity or tradition? I'll start. I like the community <laughs> potluck. That's my favorite. <laughs> I always tell that to people on tours too when I'm giving tours um, that I absolutely love that. I think it's just um, a great way to build um, like relationships with the community and all that different. Do you want, do you want to explain who from the community comes in helps do that on campus? Oh gosh. Like all the ripping um, churches come yeah. together and the different family owned businesses will like make a whole bunch of food, like Jay's barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have even like some like the Culver's that are, or like the brand, I don't know, like big huge name, fast food places will even come. So, like Culver's will like give you free ice cream. Who doesn't like free custard? Sorry, it's custard, not ice cream, my bad. Um, and then you get like Domino's, they give you free like pizza. It's just a fun event to get free food because we're all basically broke college students, so it's nice to get, you know, some free food and some free t-shirts. So mm -hmm. that's what I like about it. Yeah. All right. Who other, has other favorite campus traditions, activities? I love um, when we have in the spring, we're ripping live. They kind of host, um, I don't know what's the name of it. Um, basically, it's like a big, huge event that ripping live. Fest. Spring Fest. There we go. We didn't have it this year, so that's why it's like messing up my brain. <laughs> But Spring Fest is so much fun. Liv will tell you, last year, our freshman year, we had, you know, like the bull riding, what was like a shark riding, and that was so much fun. I lasted the longest. Um, <laughs> it was a little flex right there. But it's basically like a carnival type of event, and then at the end of it, they have like a DJ come, and we're just listening to music and dancing, and it's just a great fun event to get everybody involved in campus and to do these really, you know, fun things that you typically won't do. So I love Spring Fest, so yeah. Okay. Anybody else have an activity that they would like to share? I can also say another one. I think a big one that would be really important, especially for first years, um, is going to be our activities fair. Um, yes. Yeah. So that's something that happens, um, I think, like the first couple of weeks of mm -hmm. each school year. And it's just like where all the activities and organizations and clubs like all come together and they'll kind of make like a little poster and kind of just be out. It's kind of like in our open um, field. What, what's the name of it? I can't remember. What the front lawn by the Main cafeteria. Lawn. Yeah. Oh, so, yes. yeah. Yeah. So there, and then there's like a bunch of tables. They're all set up, and then you can kind of just walk around. You'll see a lot of first years walking around, finding different um, clubs and um, activities to join on campus. And I think there's like over like 60 or 70 different clubs or organizations. So there's a lot of different things to get involved in. There are. Um, so one of the questions that came in is what is it like to be in a fraternity or sorority on campus at Ripon? Um, I can kind of talk about it a little okay. bit. Um, so one of my favorite parts about being in a sorority is definitely going through formal recruitment. Um, you get to meet a lot of new girls, um, a lot of new people. Um, you get to kind of see what each sorority is a part of, whether um, that's like their philanthropy, um, what they like to do in their free time, what like majors and minors each sister has. I think that's a really fun time. Um, you just get to meet a lot of new people, you make a lot of new friends. And then if you decide to join a sorority, um, just like the bond that everyone has together and just like how close everyone is, is another part that I really love. Um, like how you meet basically like your bridesmaids, your friends for life. You get really, really close with them. You can live on floor with them. And it's just a really, really great friendship that you get to have. 
So, and then just to like point out to everybody, Ribbon Greek Life is a little different. We don't do formal recruitment until the spring semester. So one of the nice things is students get to get used to Ribbon and academics and kind of make that transition before um, they in partake in any of that. So you get a whole semester to just kind of get to know campus and get to know whether or not that's something that you think would be a benefit to you. So kind of, kind of neat. Um, We've got one last question in the chat and then I might have you guys talk about Catalyst a little bit. Um, so how did Ribbon help you get transition from high school to college? Because that work looks different, living on campus and being on your own looks different. So what are some of the ways that Ribbon helps you guys transition from high school to college? Um, I think one of the big things is having an academic advisor. Um, so when you come for summer orientation, um, which is going to be the summer right before your first year at Ripon, um, you'll get an academic advisor and you'll get an academic advisor for each major and minor that you have. Um, and I think when I got mine, I think it really helped me um, kind of gear my way towards what type of classes I need to take. And even just like having conversations with somebody about like just being away from home. Um, my academic advisor was always there um, to talk to me about that. And then also even my professors as well. Um, they helped me kind of transition. They made the transition pretty easy. Um, so I think those were two of um, the things that helped me. Anybody? else of anything? Um, so I'm just going to add in here because I'm a part of student support services, which um, is for low income students, uh, uh, first generation students, and then um, if you have like a learning or physical disability. Um, so I am a first generation student, which um, I, my parents didn't go to college, my grandparents didn't go to college. Um, so I'm basically the first generation that has gone to college in my um, family. So um, I guess coming in my freshman year, I was like really nervous um, because I, my parents have never gone through this. Like, um, so I was experiencing it, experiencing it for the first time. So SSS is what we call it on campus. Um, they did a lot of like icebreakers. Um, lots of events for um, all of the students in the um, in SSS um, and also they have um, counselors that you can talk to um, just kind of checking in how your academics are going um, so they really care about like um, your academics um, I know um, I bumped up my GPA so I always got like a little email saying congratulations your GPA bumped up so like just little things like that, like um, it shows that they care and they still support me even though I am going to be a senior and I've gone through um, for like technically three years that I've um, confirmed in college. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys for all of those really great answers. Um, and one thing we as counselors talk about a lot is Catalyst. It's our general education curriculum. Um, it's very different than any other program that you might be looking at for other schools, and it's really based on skills and career readiness um, while streamlining all of the requirements. So you only have a total of five required classes to take um, that are based on skills in reading, or excuse me, written oral communication, quantitative reasoning, uh, critical thinking, problem solving, all these things that make working in a global pandemic very, very critical, um, as we've all come to find out over the last few months. Um, but students can explain it much better than I can because they've had the experience. So how about everyone go around and share their favorite Catalyst class they've taken and maybe one thing about Catalyst that makes it so easy to do all of the academic things that you like to do in your areas of interest. So let's start with, we'll start with James. Okay. Uh, so my favorite thing about um, the Catalyst curriculum is that you just get to pretty much just get your gen ed like in a specific like amount of five classes and then you're pretty much free to do other classes that might be of interest to you. So uh, personally, I've just been able to kind of explore like other college classes, like take classes with other professors and it's really like introduced me to like different like 
parts of like uh, education that like I've never really thought would be of interest to me. So just like kind of getting that like feel like you get to like kind of just get a variety of uh, different classes here at Ripon College. And like, I just think that's pretty unique and, and like you won't really find that at other places around the country. So let's go over to Anisha. Yeah, my favorite catalyst class was East Asian Civilizations. That was my 220 class. So much fun. It was actually taught by a political science professor, Professor Colucci. So with this class, he not only talked about the politics of, the, of like, you know, the different East Asian civilizations, but the history as well, which is kind of like really cool for me. Cause I honestly just, sometimes I only look at the United States. I don't tend to like learn about other countries' history. So it was so great to learn about other countries' history. And um, I actually apply that and kind of compare it to the U.S. So that was one of my favorite classes. Um, but I just love college in general just because it's stuff, you know, you can take it when you're like taking your classes for your major, which I really like. So I don't have to wait until I'm a sophomore to get started into my major. And because of that, I'm actually going to be done with my major as of next semester. I'll be um, pretty much done with it. So, and I wouldn't have the opportunity if it wasn't for Catalyst. So that's why I really like Catalyst. All right, Anna. Um, so my favorite um, Catalyst course was actually a chemistry um, based course and I'm not a science person at all. Um, so I think it was called recharging your phone, recharging your body. And we talked about different like elements and like the chemistry that goes into um, like the food that we eat. And we actually um, made the food. Um, so we talked about like why cheddar cheese doesn't really break down as easy as other cheeses. Um, so, we are Wisconsin. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. And honestly, most of my Catalyst courses have been engaging and hands-on like that. Um, like another one, like we helped build a house and it was like, it, yeah, it was super cool. And I like the Catalyst system because it's, it's different than other courses. Um, it's just more hands-on, less lectures. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Molly. Yeah. Um, so my favorite catalyst course was, um, I think it was 220, um, which would be your sophomore year. And it was the same one with Anna. It was the house and home one where we got to like actually go and build a home. Um, for I think it was for Habitat for Humanity. So that was something that was really cool. And we went to also go on a field trip down in Milwaukee just to learn about um, different types of housing um, for people. There was actually like a community of houses um, that also had like a school involved in it. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but I think my favorite part of Catalyst overall is just the different um, types of skills that you'll learn for your future at career. Um, instead of taking classes like science classes or math classes on maybe something that you're not that interested in, you have the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what types of classes you want based on your interest. Um, just because there's like maybe six or seven different classes within the Catalyst 100 or 120 um, or 210 or 220, whatever it is, there's like six or seven different options that you can choose from. Um, so you can kind of base um, what you're interested in on those courses as well, if that makes sense. All right, and Olivia. Um, so my favorite Catalyst course I took was a Catalyst 220 and it was um, called Bring Out Your Dead. <laughs> And we kind of talked about different infectious diseases throughout history. And we ended up talking about the COVID um, virus and everything with what's going on now. Um, but kind of, I'm a science person, but that was a science, kind of a science-based course. But it was really interesting to look at the history of diseases and how it was represented throughout history. But my favorite part of Catalyst is being able to take courses that aren't in um, maybe like my main interest. So my first two Catalyst courses were both in the music and theater department, and I'm not a music or a theater person, but I decided to take two courses that was kind of out of my comfort zone, and those two courses were super interesting, and I was not expecting to enjoy them as much as I did, um, but I ended up really, really enjoying them. Awesome. Well, as you can see, Catalyst is very diverse and very different. 
um, and gives you just a lot of flexibility and freedom to take interesting classes in that program, but also to take the classes that are really interesting to your majors and minors. I'm really jealous of Inesha because I really want to take that East Asian Civilizations class. Dr. Colucci is one of my favorite professors on campus, um, so lucky you. Um, but as we wrap up here with this um, session, is there anything that you would like to share with any of our listeners about your college search or Ripon or anything like that? Um, I would definitely say to like whatever college you decide to go to, hopefully it's tripping, to definitely get involved in a lot of different things that are out of your element because you don't want to be that one person that's in your dorm room and like you're kind of feeling homesick. Like you're going to get homesick every now and then, but like if you can make yourself kind of distracted and like go to like, a diversity group or like go to a different student organization and just get involved inside the Ripon College community, you're going to start to realize that you're going to have a lot more friends because the other great thing about Ripon is that we are a small campus, but our friend groups are constantly like, you know, interacting with each other and it's like all these different intersections because we're small, but like we are so vastly different and there's so many different um, like things you can do at Ripon. So just get involved. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, at 5 p.m., we do have our virtual tours going. You'll see some friendly faces if you're joining us on there. Um, but thank you again so much for taking the time. And if you have any questions, please reach out to the Office of Admission, and we're happy to help you get started on your college search. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Bye. 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 <laughs>